There now. The drive-in wasn't so bad this morning. It's Daytona 500 pole day, of course. There's could be nobody here. NASCAR still doesn't know how to put on qualifying for the Daytona 500. They run the twin 150s on Thursday. They should be today. Sorry. Give me some action. Give me some action. When people talk about how stupid stock car racing seems, people just go in in circles. This is what they're talking about. One car at a time. Zoom. 60 seconds later, zoom. 60 seconds later, zoom. Hey, there's no show there. No wonder they're all at Disney World this weekend. Let's see what some of these other guys have to say about what's going on for 2008. And then we'll figure out who's going to win the poll for the Daytona 500. The biggest race of the season and probably one of the smallest crowds. One year ago, Dale Earnhardt Jr. might have been at the low point of his career. But today he's on a high. Fresh off a dramatic shootout win over Tony Stewart. Fresh out of the box, hot with Rick Hendrick. From the moment you were, you said that, or you, you made it known that you wanted majority ownership of DEI to this moment, I mean, you did, did, has it, you, you laugh yeah. right out, well, just the, that whole Yeah, I was just thinking about, you know, going, going, coming here to me today, I'm, I feel like I'm in such a better position right now, and I don't have to go through what I went through last year, it was a, whole, it was a hard day, and uh, that wasn't any fun, and I'm just glad we've been coming here, just, we answer a lot of the same old questions, but we, uh, you know, it's, not, it's been a, a lot easier today, and it'll be, continue to be easy. I've just been riding this out, man, and it's just been great. It can get here when it gets here, and uh, the anticipation is there, but it's the same anticipation I've always had as a driver, and uh, it's no more, no less. I'm just ready to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I look forward to being in the car when I'm driving the car and I'm working and driving, you know, when I'm driving either the green one or the blue one, I feel good. Those are good days when I get behind the wheel of those two cars, so uh, today's not the best day. It wasn't too bad, but tomorrow will be even better because I get to drive a little bit. Mark Martin. Does he think about last year's narrow loss to Kevin Harvick? Nope. It's not looking back. How many times uh, do you think about last year's ending of the race? And, and do you do any replaying or no. and do you think back about anything in that race? No. I don't replay it. I don't think about it much. I don't replay it in my mind. Um, that's behind us. Um, I'll say again, I've said it a hundred times times or a hundred thousand times. I'm very proud of the effort that my team made last year. I also am very proud of the fact that I drove the race of my life last year. And so that's that. You said nothing changed after that win, after that some coming so close last year. Would a win change? Would it would it change your career, change anything? I went home after that race, after I got done with all the stuff at the I went home. I took a shower and I did the same thing that I do after every race. Now, I have won a few races and I did the same thing that night as I did the races I won or the races that I crashed. Ow. Crash and burn. So, no, I mean, the only thing different was you could write Daytona 500 champion Mark Martin. Now you can't write anything but Mark Martin. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could do, you know, that would change because you would be able to say that, you know, well, that's how the, or everything you'd write about me might, might read. But beyond that, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not a look back. And I, you know, I'm very proud. I'm going to say again, very proud of the effort, very proud of the, the race I drove. I believe in my heart that that was, I drove the race of my life. And I don't know. If I've got more than that in me, or, or or if I could ever do that, you know, I don't know, and I'm not worried about it. Then that's a great feeling. That's a great feeling. I'm very proud of what we did last year. I wish we would have won, but I'm, but, but you know, winning that race wouldn't change who I am, and it wouldn't change. It really wouldn't change my world that much. Just like winning the other races that I have won in my career really haven't changed things that much either. I'm proud of the ones we won. I'm disappointed at all the ones that got away that we should have won and didn't. And and uh, and that Daytona 500 is not one of those that got away. It's not one we should have won and didn't. It's one we could have won and didn't. And if Mark had won the 500, would that have made a difference to Bobby Ginn, his car owner? 
who had to sell the team to DEI in the middle of the summer because he couldn't find enough sponsorship? Mark says no. You know, this is serious business. Why do you think I don't own one of these things? <laughs> Mark, do you at least wish... I don't blame you for uh, that. <laughs> you know, Jack, Jack Roush begged me, you know, begged me to be an owner. And uh, I won't own one of these things. And I would, uh, you know, I, I feel bad for Bobby, uh, you know, for what he went through and for the, the money that he lost. I'm just not going to do it. You know, I, I've worked too hard, uh, too long, and and uh, I know all about this business, and I owned a team, and I went broke in 1982. I know, I know what, you know, I know how this deal works, and even when things look really good, like two years ago, then you look at the climate of the sport today from an owner's standpoint or whatever, and the climate is not, not so good right now. It's really tough. It's really tough to get sponsors, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be sitting where Doug Gates is sitting today. And he might be fine. I mean, he may be fine, and he may not be losing any sleep at night. I wouldn't. And if Brian France wants to get back to basics, but the NASCAR CEO says, Mark says he might think about de-emphasizing the championship and do more to emphasize the personalities in this sport. One of the things, certainly, in my mind, one of the things that really set this NASCAR back is all the focus on the points. And here's why, because it's only one person. When I got into this thing, it wasn't about the championship, it was about the race. David Pearson, Cale Yarborough, Bobby Allison, Buddy Baker. It was about those personalities. All the focus wasn't on, well, you know, got to score these points. Who's going to be the, who was the champion last year? Who's going to be the champion this year? You know, it wasn't about that. It was about the individuals in, in, in the sport. So I also think that he's right. And I think that, you know, in order to promote NASCAR, they put a lot into the championship and made it important and all those things. And I understand that where that went. But also at the same time, I think there's a lot of personality lost in this sport. There's still just as cool and different people in this sport as David Pearson, you know, was, or, or, or Bobby Allison, or, you know, K.O. Yarbrough. I mean, these guys were cool, man. They were the he-men of the day. And somehow or another, I don't see that being covered. I see points being covered. Mike Mullen for the Winston-Salem Journal and journalnow.com.